Uh, Boot to Gecko running on a Samsung S2. This is normally an Android phone, uh, but there's no Android on here. Um, basically, what we have is Gecko, Gecko, our uh, our web rendering engine, running more or less directly on the hardware. Um, so it's a much uh, it's a much flatter stack. Uh, there's no Android or iOS in the middle, which actually means that it's quite performant. Uh, but also that everything from the top to bottom is open, um, open source, completely uh, open to people who want to take it and customize it. Um, um, so when we when we looked at you know what we wanted to do on these phones, we, we sort of realized we didn't want to create a new mobile OS. We wanted to take one that we had already, that being the web, um, and fill in a few of the gaps that were there that separated us from where we were from where we'd have to be to get something that could run a whole phone, right? So um, already you know you can build in HTML with CSS and JavaScript to do all of these visual presentation things, right? That's not surprising. And already people in web apps can make the phone vibrate or use the accelerometer or the camera using existing JavaScript yes. APIs, yeah. right? But there were a few gaps, and, and one of, so some examples of those are in the dialer. Um, this is this is a web app, uh, a web page. Um, you can see, we can view the source. It's all built in HTML and JavaScript and CSS. But this is a website, uh, a web page, rather, that can use the radio on this phone to make a phone call, and that's new, right? The web didn't used to be able to do that. Um, so we wrote that uh, JavaScript API for telephony. We've also got one for SMS and for contacts to be able to get the contacts off of your phone um, and we've got a big list of others and we're working through them uh, quite quickly so NFC, Bluetooth, these things are all coming. Um, on Android or iOS the system makes those capabilities available to native apps through uh, APIs so we're doing the same thing for web apps through JavaScript APIs. Now um, so we can you know send an SMS using something that is a, a web app um, and we can do things like video right so this is uh, Pretty performant uh, video um, using WebGL, web technologies. There's no flash here. There's nothing else. It's just the web. Um, but we have a video app that you know you wouldn't be surprised to find on uh, an Android phone. And we can play games. So here's Cut the Rope, which is a pretty popular um, mobile game. And I don't know exactly what web technologies they're using here. If it's SVG or Canvas, I'm not sure what they're using. Um, but we can play, and have the experience, you know, again, is more or less what you would expect from any other modern mobile OS, right? Okay, but uh, let's say most uh, web apps right now are built for big screens. For example, if I want to use Gmail and uh, if I and I have Android, I have a native Gmail client, right. and it's very easy to use and good interface. But if I connect it to on my phone via connect to a Gmail via web, mm -hmm. then it's right. not that good to use. So, so. I mean, Gmail Gmail is a very interesting example because um, Gmail's um, web app on the iPhone, for example, in Safari, is actually great. It's a great mail okay. client, right? And so there, there's a, there's absolutely nothing stopping people from creating great. Uh, they have to optimize it for mobile if you really want to run it. Sure. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, okay, and you have already some operators, I saw Telefonica and yeah, Deutsche Telekom, mm -hmm. who are already working on it. So, yeah, there was a Telefonica had a press conference on Monday that they are looking to yeah. release a device uh, based on, on Boot to Gecko. It looks quite different from what we have here. This is our own um, demo UI. Um, but, I mean, this is the point, right? We're building a platform yeah. that people can take and customize and build their own uh -huh. thing on top of it. Okay, so. Uh, and uh, what's the point of, for the carrier of releasing one? I mean, they have Android, they have, uh, I don't know, Windows Phone, and uh, why they want, uh, let's say, well, I mean, to so get going. I, I, I what's, the, what's the advantage I, for I that? I can't speculate entirely yeah, okay. on what they would do, but I mean, um, I'd imagine this gives them new new opportunities to really customize and to have a great relationship with their users. Okay, but isn't uh, the word customize coming from carrier is a synonym for the lock and uh, closing of the phone, etc. I mean, because people, very, I mean, uh, they screw up Android phones by customizing them. And for example, uh, uh, so wouldn't uh, they lock it to their own stuff, and it would be, wouldn't be open source anymore? And uh, not that open, you know, like because they lock the bootloaders on Android, and you cannot change anything, and etc. So right. Well, I mean, that's that's a good question. I'm not uh, I'm not actually sure, um, but I think I can probably find. Some someone for you who...